Hi everyone, in this video you are going to see the Vertex Xilinx FPGA family. So Vertex families are very high performance families we have seen in the beginning of this FPGA families. All these Vertex families are high performance families. High performance FPGA family where the change in the evolution of this transistor model we can say like a 220 nanometers to 45 or even 40 nanometers that means the technology growth has been changed from the vertex logic family is from 220 nanometers to 40 nanometer technology that means length of the channel previously in the beginning of this vertex family was 220 nanometers but now it is at 40 nanometer technology very fastest growth is there that too this type of vertex families as they are high performance families and they are preferably used in the industry level not in the laboratory purpose okay so this type of logic or fpga families used at industries as they are having very high performance compared to remaining logic families. So we can say it is a leading edge xilinx technology addresses four factors influencing the solution to complex system level and system on chip designs. So it mainly focuses on it focuses on first one level of integration level of integration amount of embedded memory amount of embedded memory performance in terms of timing performance in terms of timing and subsystem interfaces subsystem interfaces okay so these are the advantages of vertex families over the nominal families like uh, Altera, Spartan and Xilinx. Xilinx means Xilinx old families. Okay, old families are not at all preferred for the modern design tools like uh, because old families are very uh, length, lengthy and huge equipment, bulky equipments. But now we are having very smart boards to dump the code and we can show the output so coming to the architectural point of view in the architecture point of view the programming device is comprises of input output blocks and internal configurable logic blocks so if you see this we are having configurable logic blocks as we are having the basic architecture clbs and as well as iobs input output blocks Okay, these are the two main elements that we have with respect to the vertex families. See here, we are having configurable logic block. All these square boxes inside the architecture that shows the configurable logic block. Configurable logic block. Along with the CLBs, CLBs are divided into sets of CLBs where particular set consisting of, along with CLBs, this particular set consisting of a block select RAM followed by a multiplier see properly this vertical bar shows the block select ram and this is small slim vertical bar shows the multiplier okay so block select ram and this multiplier these two are very important uh, uh, enhanced features of this vertical vertex uh, fam, fpga families 
block select ram is the place where we can store the data temporarily that has to be transferred among the configurable logic blocks and whereas this multiplier is used to provide the multiplier data among these CLBs. Okay, these type of features were not there in the uh, normal laboratory purpose FPGA families like Spartan and Altera. But these two features have been embedded in this vertex families. Okay, so that's why you can say embedded memories are there and configurable logic blocks provide functioning elements for combinational and synchronous logics synchronous logic including basic storage elements and if you say block select ram block select ram this block select ram memory modules provide large 18 kilo bit storage provides 18 kilo bits storage elements of dual port ram elements of dual port ram it is a ram not rom means the data can be arranged even during power off conditions okay temporary memory storage are there and now multiplier is a, another important advanced feature of this FPGA family multiplier blocks are so what is the size of the multiplier what how many bits that it can multiply is 18 bits a by 18 bit 18 by 18 this is 18 bit multiplier dedicated multipliers dedicated multipliers See the advantage of this multiplier. Well, a lot of arithmetical and logical operations that we can perform. Suppose in arithmetical operations, if any multiplication operation is there, that your multiplier in this family is having 18 bits of multiplier, 18 bit, nothing but 18 by 18 bits up to 18 by 18 bits we can multiply using this multiplier. That is the and one more important advantage of this vertex family. Along with these two, you are also having one DCM. DCM, DCM is another digital clock manager, digital clock manager. This type of feature was not there in the previous architectures. So digital clock manager is nothing but this DCM blocks provide self calibrating, provide self calibrating fully digital solution calibrating fully digital solutions fully digital solutions for clock distribution delay compensation clock multiplication and division coarse and fine grained clock phase shifting coarse and fine clock phase shifting so in digital clock manager we are using in the d flip flops or a t flip flop whatever we have flip flops technology in this pg architecture the clock can be changed by changing the frequency Okay, this is what the digital clock manager. We can change the features of the clock signal. Okay, it's provi it provides a calibrating fully digital solutions for a clock distribution, delay, compensation. See the, how many parameters that we can change with respect to this DCM. 
so clock distribution we can change uh, delay compensation clock multiplication and division coarse and fine graining clock phase shifting okay so that many advantages we have with respect to this dcm so a new generation of programmable routing resources called active interconnect technology interconnects of all these elements that are possible so we can easily change the interconnections very fast rate compared to the previous architectures the general routing matrix grm is an array of routing switches the general routing matrix general routing matrix we can say grm is an array of routing switches of routing switches what is the purpose of this one we can change the data from horizontal lines to vertical lines so each programming element is tied to a switch matrix along multiple connections to the general routing matrix so we, we know the purpose of this general routing matrix or we can say switch matrix it is used to connect the data from horizontal line to vertical line or, or vertical line to horizontal line where the data can be interchanged among the configurable logic blocks okay so this is about the vertex logic family which is a high performance logic family thank you